Rays make a tough decision non-tendering a contract to Charlie Clutch, Charlie Culberson. Um, he will not be back with the Braves in 2020. Although the door is still open, um, I think my mom just said it best. It's like breaking up with your best friend. Everybody loves Charlie Culberson. The moments that he provided, the clutch homers, the clutch throw that, gosh, that was one of my favorite videos I ever did. I've never been so hyped after a baseball game. I don't think in my life, especially a regular season game, in the leadership and the, um, the just how good of a guy he is overall. And it really does stink that possibly the last moment in a Braves uniform was him getting hit in the face. It, it, it just really, really stinks. And I hate to say it, this is so cliche, but baseball is a business. Um, and if we boil it down, Charlie, after his um, hot start where he hit 381, um, after May 24th, it just kind of went downhill for him, hitting about 220, maybe even 210. Uh, shaking out 30% of the time, it just, it just wasn't, it, it wasn't clicking for him. He was still very, very valuable as a utility, um, in different, different positions, and the leadership will be missed, but if you look at it from a baseball perspective, it's not, um, not necessarily the wrong move. You take emotions out of it. You look at it, he's a 31-year-old um, and pretty much would be relegated to the pinch hit role and all of our pinch hitters on the roster, if you included Tar Charlie Culberson, would be right-handed with Yohan Camargo, Austin Riley, and um, Charlie Culberson, plus if you add oh, and Adam Duvall and Nick Marquez is our only lefty if we continue with that platoon, um, platoon plan. Also, Johan uh, Camargo has um, two options on his contract. Charlie had none. So, and again, it really hurts emotionally, but baseball-wise, we opened up three spots. Charlie Culberson's spot's gone. Uh, John Ryan Murphy was also non-tendered, and Rafael Ortega. I hate to be that person, because I love Charlie Culperson and there's, uh, and I would love to see him back. So there's still a possibility of that. But if you look at the numbers, and um, the fact of the matter is, when Dansby Swanson went out with his injury, we went out and got a, uh, a shortstop that we uh, trusted to field and hit at the same time, or basically field in Adani Echeverria and. Um, so we weren't comfortable with Charlie Culberson being the full-time shortstop, and his age has something to do with it as well. I mean, baseball is a business. It stinks. But to take the feelings out of baseball, that's just wrong. You have to have passion. You have to have feelings. I'm not happy with it, but I understand it. And there's options out there with Cesar Hernandez getting non tender today uh, with... Um, uh, Jose Peraza getting non-tendered today by the Cincinnati Reds. There are options, and um, AA doesn't make a move lately. We know that, and half the time we don't know what moves are going on. So, yes, emotionally this stinks, um, but sports, uh, that's something I love about sports because if you don't feel it, it's then he didn't matter, and Charlie Culverson matters to Braves country and will always matter to Braves country no matter where he goes, even if he wears enemy colors in the NL East. Love you, Charlie. Thank you so much. Hope to see you back in a Braves uniform, um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, AA's got a lot of stuff up his sleeve. As always, go Braves.